Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. There are many myths about cats that are still widely believed to this day. Some of these myths are just silly superstitions taken seriously by few, while others are thought to be facts by many. While myths might seem harmless, they can actually cause problems with some of the most dangerous myths resulting in serious consequences. So we decided it was time to debunk some of these problematic myths. Without further ado, here are 14 common cat myths that we need to stop believing. Number one, cats are not affectionate. Any seasoned cat owner knows how affectionate their feline friend can be. Unfortunately, people who think all cats are cold and aloof usually have never been exposed to enough cats. The truth is that most cats love being around their owners. They just express their affection much differently than dogs. Unlike the tail wagging and jumping a dog will do to show love, a cat is more subtle. Cats will show affection by hanging out near you, grooming you, and giving you headbutts. Number two, cats like being left alone. Since many people believe cats aren't affectionate, they also jump to the conclusion that they like to be left alone. While there is a hint of truth to this, it's often misunderstood. Unlike dogs, cats don't need constant attention to be happy. However, like dogs, cats desire love and attention from their family every day, even if they aren't as obvious about it. Some cats bond so closely with their owners that being left alone causes stress, just like what kids experience when their parents leave home without them. For this reason, experts recommend leaving your cat alone for no more than 8 to 10 hours. Number 3. Cats have 9 lives. I know, I know, this one is a silly superstition, and I'm pretty sure the majority of people don't believe that cats literally have 9 lives. But the concerning part about this myth is what it implies. Many pet parents think that cats are unlikely to have things happen to them. As a result, they rarely bring their cats to the vet. But the truth is that, like any other pet, cats need annual vet visits. Even if your cat has no illness, an annual checkup each year serves as preventative care. For example, a vet may discover during an annual visit that your cat is overweight. The vet can then give you strategies to help your cat lose weight, which would prevent a disease like diabetes. Number 4. Cats always land on their feet. Although this is another silly superstition, this myth is also concerning because too many owners take it literally. While it's true that cats land on their feet more often than not, their skill can only go so far. Cats are able to land on their feet because they have what is called the writing reflex. This reflex allows them to turn themselves the right way during a fall to land safely. Although impressive, cats still have limits. A study done by the New York City Animal Medical Center found that out of the analyzed vet records of cats that had fallen from multi-story buildings, 90% of all the cats survived the fall, but 37% of those required emergency care. Number 5. Black Cats Bring Bad Luck this myth varies from culture to culture, but the belief that black cats bring bad luck is common in the United States and Europe. It is believed that this superstition started during the Middle Ages when a witch craze was going on. Long story short, it was widely believed that groups of people were witches practicing black magic, which is associated with evil. People also thought black cats were animal companions of these witches and their evil deeds. So witches and cats were persecuted together. This negative reputation evolved into the bad luck superstition that we know today. Number 6. Cats can be vegan or vegetarian. This is arguably the most dangerous cat myth on this list. With the growing popularity of vegan and vegetarian diets, some pet parents think their cat should follow a plant-based diet as well. While humans are omnivores, meaning our bodies are designed to eat both meat and plants, Cats are obligate carnivores, which means their bodies can't digest plant material very well and are instead adapted to eat meat. Like the name sounds, obligate carnivores are obliged to eat meat, meaning they don't have much of a choice like humans, but instead are designed to eat meat to survive. With that said, a cat would get very sick and malnourished from a vegan diet and would eventually die as a result. Number 7. Cats don't like dogs. The rivalry between cats and dogs has been portrayed in Hollywood again and again, but the reality is that most cats and dogs get along just fine. 
Of course, there are a lot of factors that play into this. For example, some breeds of dogs are more likely to get along with cats and vice versa. And just like humans, some personalities are more likely to get along than others. Also, if the two species are introduced to each other at a young age, they are more likely to get along. Finally, while some cats and dogs might get along from day one, others can take months to adapt to each other. Number 8. Cats only purr when they are happy. Now you may be thinking, we all know that cats purr when they are happy, so how could that possibly be a myth? While it's true that cats do purr when they are happy, that's not the only time that they purr. The truth is that cats also purr when they're scared, feeling sick, or in pain as a way to comfort themselves. They also purr to comfort their young as well as their owners. Think about it, doesn't your cat's purr comfort you? Number 9. Pregnant women can't have cats. This myth stems from the fact that it's possible for a pregnant woman to contact a parasitic infection called toxoplasmosis from cat feces when changing the litter. If a woman gets toxoplasmosis while pregnant, it can cause serious birth defects. Because of this possibility, many people believe a pregnant woman cannot own a cat. However, this fear is greatly over-exaggerated because cats rarely get this infection. When cats do get the infection, it's from eating contaminated meat from birds or small rodents. So, if you have an indoor cat that only eats commercial cat food, the risk is slim. Also, a person is just as likely, if not more likely, to contract toxoplasmosis by eating infected raw or undercooked meat themselves. And since the toxoplasma parasite does not become infectious until 1-5 to five days after it is shed in a cat's feces, cleaning the litter box daily greatly reduces the risk. With that said, the CDC says you do not need to give up your cat if you get pregnant. Instead, they advise that pregnant women avoid changing cat litter if possible. If no one else can change the litter, wearing disposable gloves and washing your hands afterwards is sufficient. Number 10. Cats can see in complete darkness. This myth is widely believed because cats can definitely see better than humans in the dark. This is because the corneas in a cat's eyes are much thinner than in humans, and their irises open far wider, both of which allow for more light to enter. But just because they can see in lower levels of light than humans doesn't mean that they can see in total darkness. The reality is that cats can't see in complete darkness any more than humans can. Number 11. Cats are nocturnal. This myth stems from the fact that cats tend to be more active at night. According to the National Sleep Foundation, it turns out that a cat's circadian rhythm, or their natural 24-hour clock, makes them most active at dusk and dawn. Cats have this cycle because they are natural predators, making them hardwired to hunt at these times, just like their wildcat ancestors. So instead of nocturnal, cats are actually crepuscular, which means that their peak activity occurs at dusk and dawn. Number 12. Cats should drink milk. A lot of cat owners think that milk is healthy and safe to give a cat, but the truth is that most cats are lactose intolerant, meaning they have trouble digesting the lactose in milk. Even if your cat doesn't have an obvious reaction like diarrhea, they could still get an upset stomach and you would never know they feel unwell. This is why it's best to avoid giving your cat dairy. However, one exception to this is goat milk. Since raw goat milk is unpasteurized, it is very rich in lactase, which means that cats can digest it. Number 13. Cats only eat when they're hungry. While it's true that some cats only eat when they're hungry, this is not the case for all cats. With many owners gone for 8 plus hours a day, some cats will eat out of boredom if a bowl of dry food is left out for them. This constant eating can lead to obesity, which is a huge problem in the United States. With that said, most experts agree that free feeding is not the way to go. Instead, cats should generally be fed two meals a day. For each meal, be sure to follow the portion guidelines listed on the pet food to prevent overfeeding. Number 14. Cats can't be trained. Contrary to popular belief, dogs aren't the only pets that can be trained to do tricks. Cats can be trained to do many commands like sit, stay, come, etc. 
While it is true that cats are more difficult to train because they aren't as motivated as dogs, it can still be done with a lot of time and patience. If you want proof, check out the amazing Acro Cats, which features cats performing jaw-dropping tricks. This show and its owner, Samantha Martin, were even featured on the Netflix docuseries Cat People. That brings us to this video's pawsome product, which is the Ultimate Cat Secrets Revealed audio program. We love this program because it teaches cat parents various topics and valuable skills needed to understand their feline friends. This step-by-step -step audio program is broken down into 12 easy parts. One of our favorite parts, Cat Communication Explained, teaches what your cat is communicating to you through their body language and noises. Another part we love is Cat Training Made Easy, which teaches you how to train your cat to do some of the tricks we talked about earlier, like sit, stay, come, etc. Finally, understanding the many cat secrets revealed in this 12-part series will allow you to form an even deeper bond with your furry friend. So if you're interested in this product, we will have a link in the description box below. So which of these cat myths did you find the most surprising? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're new, subscribe to our channel so you never miss another cat video. And please give this video a thumbs up as it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday.